my name is Rebecca and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to bring you my craft today and it was just something that I came up with that I thought would make my life just a little bit easier. We needed a message command center <laughs> in our house. There were little sticky notes that were on the refrigerator, on the crock pot, and I was taking a grocery list down on my phone and then when it came time to go grocery shop I was trying to gather notes um, here and there and everywhere so I just thought I would put together a little command center and then everything would be all in one place so I found a few things at the Dollar Tree and I started crafting I found this blank sign at the Dollar Tree during the Valentine's Day and I thought it was going to work for so many things so I picked this up and I used some Apple Barrel acrylic black paint and I just started sponging on this black paint and I wet my brush down my sponge brush down so that it would um, not be quite such a harsh color um, and I didn't want it to be quite so dark so I kind of just kept my brush a little bit wet and just kept dabbing it into the black paint but this sign um, this blank sign I thought was really cute all by itself but I thought it had so many possibilities and I had in mind to do this message center um, for the kitchen and kind of do away with all of the little notes uh, that had kind of collected here and there on the fridge, the crock pot, the coffee pot, and um, that kind of were just random little notes and uh, the little shopping list and all of the things. So I just. Uh, I seen this and I thought it had great possibilities so I just took my apple barrel paint and I kind of just started um, sponging it onto this blank white Valentine's Day sign and it took two coats to cover it and um, like I said I kind of kept my sponge just a little wet so the color wouldn't be quite so harsh but um, I don't know I like I have said before painting is therapeutic and um, it has a little um, twine holder a little hanger already in there um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to use that so I kind of worked around the the hanger um, just just in case I wanted to use it um, I wasn't quite sure so I kind of just kept pulling at it um, until I made a decision on what exactly I was going to do with that little twine hanger um, and then I wasn't sure um, how um, how my pieces were going to fit uh, so I did pay more attention to the edges first um, because I didn't know if the wood glue that I was going to use and the hot glue was going to affix to the um, sign and I wanted them to uh, fix very well so um, I wasn't sure how that was going to work uh, so and the products that I was going to use so I did leave um, some blank spots in the middle and so I just kind of painted uh, where I thought I was going to what was going to show um, if that makes any sense and I did leave some um, blank spots uh, in the middle so that my glues would hold a little bit better um, if that makes any sense so once I had the black paint on I went in with some apple barrel acrylic paint in the nutmeg and then um, wet my sponge again and then just kind of dab that on to give it kind of a little bit of a rustic appearance and kind of tone down the black 
and make it kind of blend in with um, the cabinetry that I was going to hang this little message center next to. Um, this is a step that you don't have to do. Um, you can also put uh, white chalk paint and uh, use a chip brush and kind of rusticate your uh, piece however you would like. So you can skip this step or leave it black or you can put some white. Um, however you feel the need to paint yours. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of crafting. You can just get an idea and just kind of go with it and make it your own. But I chose to do the black and then just kind of went in and if it was too dark in one area, then I just kind of blotted over with the with the black. I think the beauty in all of these tutorials is just to kind of get an idea of your own and uh, kind of get your own ideas and make a run for it. Uh, do what you like to do. I had these craft sticks uh, and I had not used them and they were very large craft sticks and so I just cut four of them down to size. Now I have found and what I have used over the years are bandage scissors and I think that they work very well to cut these um, little popsicle sticks or craft sticks down they work so well and I just asked like my friend Becky had bought these for me and I used them actually when I was working um, as a med tech but um, then they kind of made their way into my crafting stash and they are my favorite scissors and I don't know what I would do without them so I painted four of those black and then I had, um, I believe, 17 um, of these little crafting cubes that I bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, I keep them on hand. They're very handy. I think that I ended up only using 16 of them. But um, I had these little crafting cubes, and I measured them out according to the size of whatever pen or pencil uh, that I had on hand there to see um, if I could fit maybe two, three, and uh, pens or pencils in this uh, little area. Also, I wanted to use um, the chalk writer uh, pens that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. I really like those, and I wanted to stick one of those in there as well. So I kind of just measured out how many I needed compared to putting, you know, just for size measurements. And uh, then I painted those black on three sides as well. So if any of what I'm talking about makes any sense, um, I painted three sides of those. And then eight of the tumbling tower blocks that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree, I painted eight of those on three sides as well with the black. I go into the Dollar Tree quite often, and so when I... I'm getting low on tumbling tower blocks and craft cubes and um, the craft sticks um, and they have them in stock I always grab um, a another package of those items because I use them so very much and I like to keep a really good supply of those because they come in handy for so many different things and then I just painted um, all of those in the black. Dollar Tree is also starting to carry um, wood beads in several different sizes. And so when I see those, I will generally grab a package of two of them so that I can keep those on hand. Um, you can buy those at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and you can order them off of Amazon. Um, but I found that Dollar Tree also carries those and it's just nice to have a few of them just kind of hanging out because you never know when you might need them. And so I painted two wooden beads and then I filled in the tops of them with some hot glue on one end so that um, the little wood bead hold would be kind of um, filled in. And then I just painted, once it dried, I painted over that with the black 
page so that when I glued it on, it would look like a finial. Um, I guess when you see what I actually do with it, it would kind of make a little bit more sense. So anyway, I painted uh, four craft sticks and eight Jenga blocks um, and 16 craft cubes and two wooden beads. And then I just covered um, that little um, heart outline with the four craft sticks with some hot glue so that um, I would have something for my next piece to have something to hold on to um, when because I'm going to put some adhesive cork sheet that I picked up at the Dollar Tree on top of this so that I can have like a cork board and so I wanted kind of a little bit of a backing and uh, so anyway I um, kind of covered that in with these little craft sticks these jumbo craft sticks I put a really generous amount of hot glue on the back of these sticks and made sure that um, they were really nice and tight I held them down until they were dry I had one piece that I had already done some crafting with this adhesive cork sheet they have these at the Dollar Tree and they're really handy for a lot of crafting projects and you just peel the back of it off and just kind of stick it on there I put one sheet I didn't measure it um, I didn't really care if it was uneven because I wanted to actually put a push pin in this so I wanted um, I, I they're kind of thin actually so I wanted um, an extra sheet behind it so that my push pin would actually have something to hold on to my second sheet I did when it measured um, really good so I did take some measurements and um, a little bit more exact and a little bit more straight lines the cork sheets did not have any grid pattern on the back but the um, chalkboard stickers did so I just used the grid outline of the chalkboard stickers to make my straight lines I wasn't really um, I didn't <laughs> I didn't really think that maybe a paper cutter would cut these cork sheets very well and I was afraid that it would grip so I wanted to use scissors um, the thought process going through my head was a little confusing so I just used the grid pattern that was on the back of this chalkboard uh, crop it sticker um, to use that and then I just kind of measured out the size that I wanted on these chalkboard stickers um, these have an adhesive back too and then I just cut the grid line um, with my scissors and these are really handy I just really like these chalkboard stickers I had seen them and I thought that they were a really nifty idea and I've been kind of anxious to try them I thought that they would kind of come in handy for a lot of different crafting projects but um, I had kind of been saving it for this one and uh, you get two sheets to a package so you have some left over for any other crafting project that you might really want to try and it just lays down and it's got a really good adhesive to it it just really gripped to this very well I was a little nervous thinking maybe this would lift up or have a problem but it did not I was really impressed I had bought this little picture frame it was a cute little picture frame um, and I just took the back off and it just popped right off and then I really didn't want the bow but it had a cute little um, kind of like a little um, hook uh, for a little pad of paper so I just put some wood glue on that for a strong you know permanent hold and then I just applied some hot glue for a you know I want it now kind of hold and then I just put that at the bottom so that I could put a little pad of paper um, that would just kind of peel off and make the little notes. Once I had all that in place, um, then I started 
arranging my little craft cubes um, and I'm wanting to make a, a place to hold my pens, pencils, and my chalk writer. So I just arranged it kind of where I thought I wanted it to go and um, kind of counted out my blocks and that's when I decided that I um, did six, I needed 16 instead of 17 and um, I kind of arranged them and then I just started gluing. I did a little bit of wood glue for a permanent hold and then I just went around it with some hot glue. That was a little bit time consuming but I felt like I wanted, um, since the pens and pencils might be a little bit heavy, I wanted a little bit more of a permanent uh, hold to it and so I did the wood glue. I bought my wood glue at the Dollar Tree and it is a wonderful glue and it has a really good hold to it. So I did some wood glue and then some hot glue around the, the outside of the dot um, making sure that my glues did not touch and mix together and then I just put those two um, together and I just put all my little blocks in kind of a little um, kind of a little C, um, a little wooden C so that I could um, have some um, outline to hold my pens and pencils and um, I didn't um, I'm going to glue that down actually after I have the whole thing together um, so I just kind of used my board as a template um, and kind of a little back but I just kind of went around the whole thing and glued each one of my little uh, craft cu cubes together. Um, talking is really <laughs> not something I'm going to do well tonight. Anyway, so I just put those together and when I got to the end, then I just started laying my Jenga blocks, my tumbling tower blocks, um, one on each side together, doing the same thing with a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of wood glue. A little hot glue, a little wood glue, um, so that it would be a more sturdy piece. And um, that way my pens and pencils wouldn't flop out and it would give them something more sturdy um, a little bit you know a little pen and pencil holder so I have a little bit of um, wood glue that kind of seeped out on the edge and um, so when I got finished with that I just kind of took a little baby wipe and wiped that off um, the little excess and uh, that way I didn't have like glue on the outside edges but I waited until I was all through gluing in order to do that but I laid all eight of those together and glued them and then I just glued them to the tops of my craft cubes and then when I was finished I just kind of took my sponge brush and I just touched up the outside edges uh, that didn't get painted um, as good as what I wanted them to be and just gave it more of a little finished look and kind of touched up the inside that was going to show because I did only paint three of the sides and I wanted it to look finished but you know I didn't want to waste paint and doing a lot of unnecessary work so I just kind of touched up and um, kind of finished it out and uh, then when I was finished I just took a little bit of a baby wipe then and just kind of wiped it off and then I put some wood glue on the sides and then I put some hot glue so that it would stay for now and then stay for later and then I just glued that down where I wanted and then I took my little wood beads that I had um, glued the top and finished it out and I put those on the top to look like little finials and then I just made a little twine bow and um, I went ahead and I took the twine out of the top, the hanger, and I put a new twine hanger in that. And I kind of secured it with some hot glue and a knot. Um, and then I just kind of embellished it with a twine bow uh, that I, you know, kind of made myself. And then I had some stickers um, that I 
had in my stash and I wrote leave a message on it with some white chalk or white white paint marker and but you know you can embellish this however you want and you can leave it plain or you can you know put a bigger bow on it however you want that's just the beauty of crafting it's an idea and you can make it look however you want and you can finish it out you know however you like it but in the end it's a cute little message center and you've got a place for you know a little bulletin board a little chalk um, board and then you've got a little place for um, a little notepad and your pens and pencils and you've got a little message center all at the all at your fingertips and it's just kind of a little handy dandy setup right wherever you need it you found some inspiration to maybe make a little order and organization and bring that into your world as well so thank you for watching crafts laughs and chaos don't forget to subscribe hit that bell so that you know when i've uploaded my next video and give me a thumbs up so you have a really great week